Hi, Ben. Hey, Patrick. How are you, buddy? Good to see you again. Last time we talk, uh, talked, you said that in order for us to talk again, um, Sonic had to have a huge opening weekend. All the fans had to go see it. So congratulations. Oh, we did it. Did I say we needed a sequel? Because we didn't get the sequel yet. Oh, shit, you didn't? So we, should we like no stop? we haven't gotten we haven't been greenlit we haven't been greenlit for a sequel yet all right um all right fun to hang out don't call me back later yeah he's back baby <laughs> sonic tuesday sonic tuesday ben what is space force it was created by Steve Carell, uh, who did The Office, and Greg Daniels, who created The Office, and also for you and I. It follows a new branch of the government that was just started, and the whole idea of this new branch of the government is to deal with military action towards space. And I play a media manager of, of said branch. Did I do a good job? Yeah, that was great. That was really succinct. Um, fans of, of, like, your past characters... In oh, oh, shit. All right. Yeah, sorry. Keep going. I look really sad. Why do I, was that when you were talking to me just now? This is literally what you look like all the time. Fuck. You look like someone, you look like someone who did not get the job in Death Cab for Cutie and he just doesn't know what's going on. Show me what you think Joy looks like, by the way. Okay, I'll take a picture of it, but it's right. so different than what this is. Do you know what I mean? Yeah. This is, this is you after like seeing Sonic. Yeah, that was, I made that face several <laughs> times in Sonic. <laughs> Fans of, of your work will sort of recognize sort of echoes of past characters you've played, a, a bit of Jean Ralphio in this character. Um, how come how come you're you're so good at playing like idiot assholes? I think there's a lot of fun. I think there's so much fun in playing the person that's overconfident that thinks he's nailing it but never is. I love that stuff. It's funny you said that because literally it's one of the ideas that we had was we want the energy to be there, one of this fun stuff to be there, but we do not want it to be John Ralphio, which it, I think I think we pulled off. I, I think it comes across. I mean, this guy this guy thinks we nailed it. We've got a segment. Better or worse in space? Sports. Uh, uh, worse, because everything is a home run. Every, you, can't, you can't deal with it. You throw a ball up, it's gone. Uh, kissing. Better. I'd like some reasoning, because it, it seems you like it'd be it. harder. Well, okay, because you take off your helmets, and your face starts to go inside out. So you're not just kissing lips, you're kissing who the person is underneath. And I'm a very sensitive man. And I like the idea that I could sit and kiss somebody who I could really feel like what they are underneath. Now, does that mean I fall in love with the person? I don't know. Well, I mean, let's move but on to I know the family. Do you think I'd be better or worse in space? Oh, giving birth on the moon is hilarious, I heard. Yeah. 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 That would I be, so. that would be you, you think it would be easier? You think it'd be, you think it would just bust out and just like yeah yeah you don't even have to push you yeah. just find out you put your alarm clock on when you're going to give birth the contractions are whoop, and then it's out yeah. and you just gotta whoop, whoop. how funny is that bit whoop 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 whoop, yeah, whoop, yeah, whoop. get it grab it by the cord grab it by the cord yeah the, oh, the milk you could do like just little globules of milk just sort of like you're fucking disgusting it. do you hear me you're disgusting and this isn't the place for any of that you ever play pitfall on uh the older consoles like atari yeah 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 your character in the show speaking of milk is lactose intolerant. What's what's your milk situation like? Oh, by the way, I improvised that. And it's, now it's a character trait. Yeah. <laughs> uh, what was your second part? Your first part was so stupid that I didn't listen to the rest. I just wanted to know what, what like your personal milk situation is. Oh, can I tell you something, Patrick? Because you yeah. seem like you have some problems too, just from your physique. That um, for me, like I thought Oatly was going to solve everything. Uh -huh. But I still get stomach issues from Oatly. I get stomach issues from soy milk. I'm not quite certain what it is huh. that's giving me issues. Um, but I've been eating a ton of ice cream lately. Uh, do, do you think astronaut ice cream would give you astronaut diarrhea? <laughs> do you remember astronaut ice cream? I used to love that. Yeah. But were they the little balls? It was, it, no, that, that's that's Dippin' Dots. Oh, that is Dippin' Dots. They sold astronaut it as the Space Age ice cream, though. Didn't they, yeah, didn't they sell it in like a freeze lock silver? Yeah. Aren't I remembering space ice cream yep. came like a freeze lock silver thing? It was, it was like a big, it was like a big um, Lucky Charms marshmallow, pretty much. I've been in a lot of things that are these big, wonderful things like Sonic, and um, I've never been in something that has its own ice cream. Space Force has its own Ben and Jerry's flavored ice cream. It blew my mind. It's coming out in like a couple days from today, which How means it? they'll probably they give be already you a sneak up. Preview of it. They're going to send it to me. I cannot wait, and I'm so lactose intolerant, and I will eat every droplet of it. 
You share scenes with some really funny people in this show, and not all of them are necessarily known for comedic roles already. A lot of them are. What makes some of these people uniquely good at being funny? And I'll just Great. throw a name out there, John Malkovich. He commits so hard to the character. He's so fucking funny because every sentence is said as his character Mallory. Jimmy O. Yang. So the comedy from his character, which I love so much, is that deep down Jimmy can make anybody laugh whenever he wants, but he plays the serious moments really serious, and then when he hits the comedic moments, they really pop. Steve Carell. Steve Carell is just a powerhouse. Everything he does is incredible. It's insane to me that he can do The Office, and then he does like five dramas, and he's just, he's, he's immaculate and perfect in it. Janina. Her job was kind of to be fucking, to hate me, and to like kind of, we're at, we're at odds with each other. So it was super fun to work with her. Uh, sh she was having a ball too. How do you think, how, how do you think Space Force would feel about this image? Can you see that? <laughs> <laughs> I think Space Force would love it. I think Space Force would love it. Who created that? Um, that was created by Shutterstock.com. Patrick, I know you're famous for him. Do you mind, can you show me your double dab? Yeah. And if you could switch arms, so it'll go one arm and the other one. Tell me when you're ready. Yeah. Three, two, one, hit him. Uh, bang, uh. bang. Thanks, man. Segment. 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 Should we militarize it? In Space Force, we begin militarizing space, which leaves us with a couple things we have yet to militarize. I, I wanna know whether or not we should militarize these concepts. Can't wait. Getting breakfast. Describe to me, describe to me just so I understand it. How would one militarize getting breakfast? Just so I know moving forward what I'm working so, with. Tell so me what that this means. This is great because before um, before we, we did this interview, Tara asked me the same question. And I said, I don't know, Ben's funny. He'll think of something. Well, listen, she's a great producer and she understands flaws when she sees them. And the biggest flaw was letting you do this. So I can't wait to hear what you, tell me what it means to militarize breakfast. because. I, you leading up to this it was so smart, what a funny way, like that's, and that's classic Patrick Gill. You come at stuff because you do your research, you're a funny dude. But I think what you've done is you've, you're in a sinkhole and you're sinking right now and you don't know how to get out and you try to grab me, uh, but you've pulled me in. So now I want to hear from you right now, Patrick Gill. I don't want any, I don't want any nonsense. I just want you to tell me right now how you would militarize breakfast. Uh, Uniform breakfast, un a, a good uniform for breakfast. Uh, so thank you so much, Ben Schwartz, for coming on and talking to us about Space Force, which is out on the 29th on Netflix, and Middle Ditch and Schwartz already out on Netflix. Go watch it. Normally at Polygon, we um, we like to talk about video games. Um, Let's talk about video games. Have you ever played Mass Effect? No. All right. Well, yeah, moving on now. Uh, where was the moon landing filmed? Wait, I would love to talk video games. And the moon landing wasn't filmed, Patrick? You think it was fake? I mean, you, can, you could have said it was filmed on the moon, I guess. Oh, that's true. Yeah. Oh, God, what are you, my dad?